says Nigerians should regard themselves as members of one family irrespective of political differences. The governor of Bielsa State, the Honorable Henry Siri K. Dixon, has urged Nigerians to thank God for sparing the lives of the vice president, Professor. Yemi Asinbaho and other passengers in the helicopter that crash landed in Kaba, Kogi State, on Saturday. Governor Dixon breaking, Asinbaho speaks after chopper crash he said that the citizenry should be grateful to the Almighty God for preventing what would have been a major tragedy especially at this critical period of heightened political activities in the country. Governor Dixon said, in a statement by his special advisor on media relations, Mr. Fidel Asoroe, that Nigerians should regard themselves as members of a solid and united family irrespective of political differences and platforms. The governor stressed that being in different political platforms should not be allowed to cause division and disunity in the country. He also said that Nigerians should exploit moments such as the helicopter incidents to assert their humanity. He said, I have heard about the crash landing of the helicopter that was conveying the vice president, professor. Yemi Asinbaho and other passengers at Kaba, Kogi State. I join Nigerians to thank the Almighty God for this great deliverance and the prevention of a tragedy that would have plunged this nation into mourning at this critical time. We should all thank God for sparing the lives of the Vice President, the other passengers and the crew for his mercies. In this country, we have a responsibility to see ourselves as brothers and sisters of a united family irrespective of differences in party platforms. Being in different parties should not make us see ourselves as enemies or tear us apart. We should reinforce our common humanity in moments like this. My family and I and indeed the government and people of Bielsa State hereby offer our best wishes and show gratitude to God for sparing the life of the Vice President. It would be recalled that Governor Dixon is partly from the Fidipote ruling family of Ijibuot in Ogun State and refers to the Vice President as his Egbon, the Yoruba term for elder brother. The Vice President and his wife, Mrs. Dolapo Asinbaho, attended the burial ceremony of the late Madam Gold Coast Dixon, mother of the Governor in Anjiyama, Patani local government area of Delta State in December 2018.